Welcome to Stadium, a low-code web application builder. In this video, I will show you how to build a simple employee app in under 10 minutes. To get started, I'll create the database side of the application, and then we'll move on to the page I want to create. Stadium's database connector supports popular database providers such as MySQL, Postgres, SQL Server, and more. Now I'm connected, I'll create the CRUD queries we'll need, which are fetching all employees, followed by how to add, edit, and delete an employee. The first query is select all employees, which will return a list of all my employees. Now that's done, I'll create another query that will return one specific employee. I'll reuse the previous query and add a WHERE clause in order to return only one employee. To add fields to your query, you can simply type them out or drag them in. Creating a parameter can easily be done by simply prepending an at to the name. In order to simplify my app, I will not be adding photos into it, so I'm going to remove the associated field. Next, I'll add three more CRUD queries. Insert employee, update employee, and delete employee. I'll start with insert employee. For this app, we don't need the employee ID in it, and I'll also be removing it. Then I'll add the update employee query, which will update any employees. Once again, just passing in my employee ID and removing the last couple of fields. Lastly, the delete employee query. For this, I'll need a WHERE clause, which I will add in and update my parameters. The database side is now complete. Now it's time to create the page side of our app. We will need a data grid to display a list of employees. I can fetch this from my toolbox. You can find any of these elements to your application, such as text box, button, image, or menu. In my data grid, I'll set up the columns using the query that I've already created. With the data grid set up, I will load the data into the data grid. I'll execute a query in the start page load script, which will run when the page loads. To do this, I simply drag my select all employees query into the start page load script. This will execute it when the page loads. It doesn't need any parameters, so I can immediately go and assign the result to my data grid. To do this, I will use the setValue function from my toolbox to easily set the target and values in the properties panel. Time for a quick preview. Stadium has a one-click deploy button and hosting is available for on-premise or cloud with security, monitoring, and versioning as standard. Our app is looking good. Next, I will create our other employee pages. I'll create the add employee page using the wizard. Here you can select any other controls or add any additional formatting options as required. I will hit Generate and you'll see that my Add page has been created. If I preview my app again, my Add button is included and I can use it to add information about my employee. Back in the designer, we'll do the same to create the update of an employee. 
The difference here is that I need to retrieve the employee info before being able to edit it, which I will do in the wizard. I will need the employee ID that we will be parsing in, and then we can go and change the elements we want. Carrying on, I will add the delete employee function. In this one, my column type will be a static text and every row will contain the word delete. Importantly, I can create an event handler, which will execute the actual work when delete is clicked. To execute my delete employee query, I simply drag it into the script. It requires me to pass in an ID, which I will set to the appropriate script input parameter. I will select clicked row and select my employee ID, which is the one that I want to delete. To create a warning message before deleting a user, I'll wrap the script in the display message box. I can insert the user's name into the message by building an expression in the editor. The editor holds my input parameters for easy use. Next, I'll move the query so the user will need to confirm that he wants to delete this employee before the query executes. Lastly, I'll execute the select all employees query again and assign the result to the data grid. This will refresh the all employees list after deleting the employee. The last step here is to execute a select query again and add in a set value to refresh the all employees list after deleting the employee. Let's go check out our app so far. As you can see, I can clearly add, edit, or delete an employee using standard UX principles. That's a pretty quick employee dashboard ready to use using your existing database. No JavaScript, no CSS, no frameworks and libraries. For more ideas on what you can build with Stadium, visit our website at stadium.software.